Right now we are driving up to Haleakala National Park. We're driving all the way up to the summit for sunset tonight. And the drive in is gorgeous. We haven't um, spent any time in the upcountry of Maui yet. And it's so lush and green and just the opposite of the beach. It's uh, full of cattle farms and there's a winery up here. Oh wow, and there's just beautiful views down, all the way down to the beach as well. And beautiful views of Haleakala, where we are heading right now. So today we're heading up to the summit. The other day when we did the road to Hana, we explored the Kipahulu area of the park and um, hiked on the PPY Trail. But today we're heading up to the summit. We're, I think we're gonna do a little bit of hiking around there too. Um, they warned that it gets cold up there, which is crazy because it's been in the high 80s all day down in uh, the lower part of Maui. But um, we brought some jackets and some long pants if we need them. They said it could be a be. Uh, they said it could get down to like the 40s up there. Now, we come from Chicago, so we're used to cold weather, but we may have adjusted to the, to the Hawaiian temps, so we'll see when we get up there how we feel. We just took a quick stop off here, quick pull out, take some pictures, and you can just see everything all the way down. Pretty much see all of Maui from up here. So we're gonna keep on rolling up Haleakala. So we're a little, um, we're a little over halfway up the side of the volcano right now, and views are spectacular. The temperature has dropped from like the mid 80s at the bottom to 65. So we put the top up on the car. Um, yeah, it's no joke. It's, uh, it is dropping quickly as we rise. All right, we are about to enter Haleakala National Park. We threw our jackets on just, uh, just in preparation. We have reached the summit. I said it was in the 60s when we got up here, but it is uh, pretty chilly, I will not lie. I think I doubted, but it is definitely much cooler up here. Everyone's got their sweatshirts on. They're getting bundled up. I think we all adjusted to the 80 degree weather at the base. So if you look right there, that's Madeline. But over there, that is the big island. You can actually see Mauna Kea and the observation domes that they use over there from here, which is insane. Well, we are up here at the top. summit, at the top of Haleakala, looking down into the craters and waiting for sunset. I mean, we're above the clouds here, which I don't know if I've ever really been above the clouds unless I was in an airplane before. So this is a first on the Rockies the or Rockies. something, but not quite like this. It doesn't quite look like this. Yeah. You can Drums. see everything. We got here a little over an hour before sunset and uh, the parking up here is filling up. So there's additional parking down all the way
way down there, but then you have to hike up to this area. So I recommend getting here earlier rather than later because limited parking. Well, it is cold out there. I, uh, I think I doubted, but it's uh, in the 50s and it's pretty windy. Yeah, we got lucky we got here when we did um, because we got a parking spot up at the summit. We weren't really going to go down to the crater today because that's a huge elevation change for a hike and we'd rather lay on the beach. <laughs> I think it's a really cool hike. But the thing about being up here is that it's windy and it's cool and so we decided to come sit in the car and just kind of uh we're warming up a bit we've yeah. got probably like a half an hour until the sun goes down so we will re-emerge sometimes as it in gets nature closer. you just get out of nature <laughs> so you can watch some nature yeah but if you have uh hiked down into the crater and done any, any of the hikes in haleakala let us know about it in the comments below we have emerged from the car again it is about 10 minutes to sunset so as the sun sets behind me, you can also see this big telescope right here, and that is the University of Hawaii's. It's, this mountain is the fourth best place to view the solar system. So the University of Hawaii got a big telescope and they can actually see a basketball in space 20,000 miles away, which is really useful when Space Jam is going on. Also, um, there is a US Naval base right there. Sorry, not the U.S. Naval Base, the U.S. Observation along with the Department of Defense, and they monitor space activity. So there's about 8,000 objects out in space, and they track them all from that spot right there. Well, that was sunset. Haleakala. Haleakala. <laughs> that was sunset at Haleakala. It's a nice sunset. The moon's on the other side. And we're getting racing back to our car, so we're not the last person's out of this park. We don't want to get stuck in traffic. That's the first one. <laughs> Well, that was sunset at Haleakala. It was beautiful. If you're here, you have to do it. It's, it's really, I don't think, something that you can capture on camera. We tried. We'll see how it turns out, but it was absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see more from our trip to Maui, click right here. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.